Well, that's one good way to get your pinch in your neck and get your hands all clamped up. One job done. Most second two. God, hurt. So I'm trying to drop that socket. Anyways, guys, welcome back. Part two of working on the 200s. God, I don't like doing these grease nose clutches, but it needs to be done. And now I just gotta figure out what the next project to tackle is. I'm thinking it's gonna be this big guy. Well, not the big guy. So it's pain in the ass, I like that. And then you think that it's kind of meant to be doing this in time and still in time and school. One thing that's gonna get done, battery's coming out. Batteries coming out at least so I can get in there and put that pin in the right place. I'm gonna do the battery. This isn't like a truck badge, badge is a little small. But the nice thing is this comes with the tie down. Nice drop of washers everywhere, nice going. I'm not sure what size I'm going to pray. 7 16s, I'm guessing. What happens, too? See what happens. Some 16s. Some 16s, alright. Good, good, good. I wish it had the battery set up that the 110 has, but oh well. At least this battery actually charges, 110 don't. And you can bet money I'm not going to dig into it either, because I'm not about to. I'm done with the electric system on that tractor. Just tired of it. That's a part of keeping the old good garden tractors alive people say oh that's an economy garden tractor well unless you get one that's just as capable i lucked out my 110 even though it, my mom says well my you know what my dad says well if you're this would be your first tractor it's 112 you would try end up keeping it eh no even if i had to buy the 110 guarantee you know with the knowledge i know now this thing would have been sold and as soon as this thing hit the four tires hit the ground. Of course when it hit the ground and load up on the back of my truck and on the back of the trailer. And right here. Alright, that makes life a little bit easier to get in there. So 
shit. Where'd that go? Where'd that washer go? There, right, lying on my rug. Now, this guy should just pull right out. Yep. Okay. So here's your problem. This one. Now this time uh, I'm going to permanently fix it. One ten did it once. Okay. I don't know if people are kind of itching. You can see how it's kind of out of whack. We gotta figure out a way to bend that back in there. So I'm probably going to set up a time lapse. I will actually probably end up posting it. Well, no, I can't judge a copyrighted music playing. And how to figure this thing out. I'm kind of tired of it. There. Actually, you guys need a battery. Eh, no, you don't. Squeezing tool. There by script. And I got a hammer over here already. Pulling itself out. So I'm going to try. No trick I know. I learned my 51. I should first start working on it. You can bend stuff back into place. I'm getting there. That was a pain in the ass. I will say that. I'd say that we're just about golden. How does this thing get out of whack? I have no clue. Okay. No problem. It's not going in all the way. Fix that too. I know I shouldn't be doing this. Ow. Pinch my skin freaking variator. But one thing I can't stand is this variator not wanting to work. Now look all oh that might do it. Oh crap I just knocked out of there. That's dirt. What the hell is this thing doing? It's Past life to the owner of that hobby farm. I think he's doing a little bit more than the guy said he's doing with it. Does it work? Ooh, that tight. Really freaking tight. Holy crap. Wow. Jeep, jeepers! Wow! God darn! What the hell! Well, for a fact, a video ain't supposed to act like that. It's supposed to be acting like this. I gotta put the shield back on. So it's acting like this, nice and smooth. Now, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna fix that rubber piece. Put a zip tie on that soon. Hmm. Time lapse.
Well, I think I might know what the issue is. I think there's a spring inside of here, the shaft. It goes down to the button. The button to that little uh, piece of steel. I think the spring's getting wore out. So. We're going to get some furniture going down in there. And let it sit. The next step is, why does it do it? I don't know. It's not to drive me insane. A lot of things drive me insane in life. That's for a lot of people. Okay. Loosen stuff up down there, hopefully. Very good to tell you what, variators work. When they work, they work great. When they don't, they turn into a real confusing, frustrating mess real quick. Well, let's see here. Try this. Many a bigger uh, persuasion tool. Probably a bigger persuasion tool might help a little bit. Yeah, there's the wood handle. The wood handle bastard. Fixes just what any problem I need on these tractors. Hey, 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 there you a mess. Oh, I'm not going to start with that. I need to put a pen or something in that. I'm going to start with a tripod. What a disaster. <clears throat> this thing does the odd tank too. That thing's in there so this thing's not right. Great. I'm actually scared to adjust this one after an experience with this thing. Not the greatest. Next project, wheel. Alright, let's see. Got this thing knocked out of here. Let's see what we do. Say. 
window. So I never finished my woods class. Full, so I nailed it and screwed it together. And let's just say I never put the lid on. The lid's now my cutting board for uh, running air tools. What we gotta do now? This makes this stupid. Is Try to pin it out. Ah, first not soaked on the fender. Cast the mud off and we'll find out why this thing is cockeyed. We'll find out together. Ooh, that's a little not good. Cast nuts are great for this type of stuff. I tell you what, better than the snap ring. I will say that up front. A little bit of a messy job. Let's see it. There's a bang. Go right out. Eh. That looks good. It looks good for me at least. Now the real question is. Rag. Grab a new rag. Out of my box, my, my red box here. Got a chance on it. The cover is sitting. We're gonna really touch on the tripod with my nasty, greasy, funky hands. Clean them off a little bit. I'm gonna find out. Camera battery died on me. So I'm gonna run my finger with the glove on in there. Oh, this is greasy, nasty. I should put some grease in there. I might do that. The grease gun's still out. I'm gonna find out why. I'm gonna find out why. Alright, I mean, there's a grease groove in there for the bearing. Okay. Thanks, I know that person likes wearing gloves all the time, but when you're dealing with cameras and grease, it's kind of a smart idea too. Supposed to do it. I think that might be part of the problem. This thing's plenty of grease. I see wear marks on this. I know that's just shiny steel. Bearings don't want to roll. It's a good sign. I don't know a whole lot about bearings. My dad knows more. He's at work, so I sure ain't gonna throw this in my truck either. This is on the floor, and it's going to be full of dirt and crap. I don't even know what side of bearing this is, but... 
press it back in there and you find out. Oops. Not bad. Go this way. That's a really tacky bead. That's a good grease in there. That's this thing supposed to go in from. No. Well. Things were sitting like that. Like that, maybe. I'll try that. Mount this guy back up on here, shall we? The shaft looks fine. Doesn't appear to be. Mm. That's. This is the same way in my 110, so. Doesn't look that bad. I don't know. I wonder if you can slide on this one, it'd be fine. Seven? Well, yeah, you got it. Bang, it fell back out. I don't think that's going to fit on it. Yeah, no, it's not going to fit. And that bearing is probably shut. Is it like, ooh, sticky? Come on. Fucking bearing. You ain't no more about bearing, you tell me. There we go. Stay. You prick. It just keeps sliding in and out of there. I guess our problem's coming. I think that's where our problem is. This is kind of a messy job. I want to warn you guys ahead of time. I don't recommend yanking on these tires and rims. Well, granted, I first pulled this wheel and bearing assembly off of here. It the bearing fell out anyways. I don't see how level this thing sits. It's still cockeyed. Well, so we take it back apart tomorrow and go into the bearings. Actually, look at this, the most out. Pretty much, pretty much, That feels good. But I think 
All this paint's actually new paint guy, but you can you can't tell the difference in the old and new paint. Uh well, I guess now. I'm gonna deal with that thing off camera. Cause it's gonna be a cursing montage. I'm gonna get frustrated and angry at the darn thing. Not angry, but frustrated. And it's not gonna end real well. So let's see here. Yeah. I'm honestly thinking it might just be that spindle. I can see it still. Doot. This one might have the same thing. No, both the stairs look even. I don't know. I think tracked perfectly fine. Yep, that cut me right through. Then that, yes, it did. Oh well. We'll wash off. We'll go inside to eat lunch. No, I think it's past lunch time, anyways. That tracks ate a cookie for lunch. I'm a sugar junkie. Well, that's that. Then fix it. I'm honestly thinking it's that spindle. That's a good one. <laughs> wow. Alright, I'm gonna grab a clean rag and I might just duct tape the darn thing together. Because you really don't, not looking at this thing infected in the darn hospital you can't get out of. I don't like going to the doctor. Who does? If you do, I might, I will probably end up calling, well, I will call you a little bit weird. You don't have to go, you don't have to go. Now you cut so I need stitches. That's an exception. I hate stitches. I've had 50 of them in my neck. Right up in here. You guys can see the scar. and still had a tumor cut out. Oh, a couple years back. 2017? I think it was. Oh, you have to go back. It says when... Uh, if you go back in my video archive, it would say when disaster struck the house. I might try to put one up in the corner. If I can remember to put it up there. I can handle flyers today so I can get some more work coming in the door. I'm going to be spending a fair amount of money on these two this week with deck belts and carburetor kits. I need to get belts. They should have the belts on hand. I would call them, but uh, it'd be better to walk in and do it. Give me crap in the comment section. At least these two are back together. I do like this tractor, my 110, a lot better because it's complete. It has been painted, it's got some blue crap on it, which might just be a paint. I don't know. Wait a minute. I thought that was original paint because this is that. If that's original paint and someone painted this and it's a pet blue patio tractor. Oh. <laughs> I can see paint. You paint there. I don't know, look this year, remember if this thing originally came green. I don't know if you can look that. I mean, there's blue paint everywhere in this thing. There, there, more I look, the more I find. I don't see any ones up in here. That's black from the exhaust. I mean, I see blue paint on these fenders. A fair amount of it, just on, yeah, more of it right there. I don't know, I would kill to have the whole patio series the white the blue the yellow the red i would kill to have all of them but they're very hard to come by and hard to find especially seats which seats i wouldn't give a shit about i just cover up the seat cover anyways but yeah so i got two videos for the week so we got what we got thursday Go speedy, go Jesus. Got Wednesday, then got Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. So you guys got videos up until Saturday of this week. After I get carpet kit for this, which that might be a little interesting. I've never done carpet kit my own. Always had a little bit of assistance. Cause, well, granted, that's my first time. But yeah. The next thing me and my dad are going to figure out because we've been working on this together. I tried to enjoy, I tried to do as much work on it as myself, but kind of considering I bought this and we've worked on it together for basically since we brought it home. More blue paint in there, that might be a primer for these things, I don't know. 
But I think this is going to be the next thing, because it keeps loosening itself up. I mean, all these other pogies seem to be tenacious. This guy is one that scares me. It pops off. It's going to dent the crap out of the fiberglass. I potentially break it. And I'm not in the mood, or never will be in the mood, that if a tractor's got a good straight hood on it, leave it alone, for the love of God. But, let's see, pause. Put it in there like that. But yeah, get this guy buttoned up. And, yeah, I mean, it's not the worst pinch I've ever had. I mean, I don't mind blood. I've been, you can look at my hands, I've been, Tank accidentally bit me a little hard when he were, he was mouthing me and he accidentally clamped down to my hand and he got me. Right there and there. And I mean, my hands are covered in cuts from working on stuff. Working on these mean, we all got scars. This is part of life. Some emotional, but wear them with pride is what I tell people. What makes you who you are. Don't ever let people take that from you. Unless it's really, really bad, then I don't know. People call me. I found that saying on Google one night. They're looking for a Grim Reaper artwork to put something together for a friend. Because you guys can always tell me you the live streams from Farming USA too. With those, eh. Summertime's not really the time to be doing those videos because I get busy, busy, busy. Winter time's the time for gaming. Well, then in the winter I work too. But yeah, I mean, the farming used to be, I know my channel's kind of known for it now, honestly. Kind of, I know it sounds weird, but I kind of wish it wasn't. Because everything it says underneath now is gaming. Which, that's what the channel originally started out as, but, eh, It's changed direction, people. I do, I try to do a little bit of everything. The game stuff is just when I'm kind of running out of content, or we're doing something, me and my friends are doing something really interesting on a game. Other than that, I like to kind of keep this more of the farm, agriculture, I, just a young man trying to get into agriculture, his journey, and the garden tractor world. That's what the whole goal, that's why I switched the channel name. A lot of new subscribers, whoops. These are no better, dude. Hey, roach my ranch. It actually didn't shock me, surprisingly. First time I ever shorted something across of a wrench. Okay, what the hell? There, get these nice and tight. Cause I had an issue with this thing coming to the terminal loose last time. I smoked the crap out of the terminals. Get these nice and freaking tight, boys. And girls, if there's any watching. There. Alright. Let's get the battery tied on. Do that all the time. The battery tied on is a bit of a job. Put my punch back. And my mess of tools and camera parts over here. Now, this is really probably the worst I'll look at. Yeah, I got just a dead blow hammer, the big socket for the flywheels, just to keep make sure they're still free if they sat for a while on my two-inch ball for the tractors. Specifically for a 110 and 112, when I get rid of this tractor, I will be keeping my ball hitch. Be honestly, because this tractor is what moves all the trailers, the big, the full-size trailers you pull with the truck, like stuff like that. I mean, that one's light enough I can push around, but it's just easier to have. We have a tractor and you're mowing. One tank and just hook it up and I drag it in the driveway. And I can just back it in with it. Makes it life a little bit easier. It gives me no excuse to use my baby. I know she don't look very appealing to the regular eye, but a lot of you guys may know original paint tells a story. I enjoy. I love looking at this tractor. I rather look at this thing than that. I rather look at a rusty tractor that's original paint than I look at what some people call a trailer queen. Yeah, because this thing's got issues. 
I will be fixing those issues. This one, turn the key, she may start, she may not, the 99% of the time she will. You usually don't got to worry this guy not wanting to start with that push button on there anymore. Man, I just got to do a carb adjustment. Air filter's good, I took that all apart, checked the governor. I will be doing a how-to video on that in the future. I'm not going to now because honestly, I don't want to take it all apart. I had it apart once. We're not doing it unless it needs it. I took the tools away. And I say my carb kit should be in tomorrow, which is Wednesday, May 6th. So, the carb kit's in tomorrow, and god darn it, I got grease on my hat. I tell you what, we're gonna move my cowboy hat inside. I need a newer cowboy hat. I still have my straw one, but it's kind of old. Kind of falling apart a little bit. Oh. There's Tank. Who's a good boy? He won't come to me unless because I have a hat on. Who's a good boy? I think why are you shoving this device in my face? Come here, Tankers. Take the hat off, he just comes to it. No. I think it's because I'm holding the camera. That's probably why. Tank's a big scaredy cat. He's a big old teddy bear. Alright, pick that up. Actually, I might need that. Oh, yeah. Next one will be a carb adjustment. On 110. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. We're going to do it by the book. So if you guys do not have the original manual for your truck, not truck, hey, I had truck, hey, tractor, 110, 112, it's got the 10 horsepower cooler, or I think the 12 horses are the same. I don't know. Never really got to look at a 12 horse cooler. I've only ever seen a 112 with a Tecumseh. That's what I got. It's good to rip your... I've seen a 110 with an 8 horsepower engine, and those 8 horsepower engines look so cute. They're so tiny. Like half the size of a 10. It's just like in here and whatnot. It's just tiny, tiny, tiny. I mean, it actually makes it a lot more room in the engine. <clears throat> that in, and I think that tractor is running the 16.6, 6, 16 by 6s in the front, and the 23 by 10s, which is this one's got. 23 by, no, 23 by 8. That's got 23 by 10s. My bad. There's a cute tractor. I mean, if I have to put an 8 ball shifter on these things, it'd be really cool. And I get distracted too because I'm working on these things. I love, talk, I love talking tractors. I love talking farm equipment. And I don't have very many friends. I've got a fair few friends, but good. They're track, I mean, I get a lot of flack from my good buddy Joe for saying, oh, you just need to sell these things. They're not worth it. They're already breaking on you. Well, reason why I spend so much money on you. Hey, I caught you. You little prick. I caught you. Doesn't take that selling along in the market's territory. You know, you need to put buying these things. And I said, hey, you want to come to the shop? It's like the day after I got my license. It's like, sure. Hey, do anyone hang out? And, of course, it's like, do you see you should buy another tractor, Dan? Yeah, what do you think this is? Well, it looks like shit. Exactly what he said. Well, no. It don't look like crap because I had the fenders off. You guys saw the pedals still on there. I just ripped apart fuel tanks off because I was putting the starter in it. Pain in the starter on this thing. <laughs> we'll be honest, though. So starter in that thing is gone. Actually, easier than it is in my 110. The reason why I say that is because the 110 got actually a plate to mount the engine. Part of the engine mount covers it. The giant plate that covers the bottom bolt. And it's, but you have a heck of a time getting a wrench in there. I'll tell you that much. I got a long screwdriver right here. Yes, I do. But yeah, that's basically what we've been doing. That's the box. I got the lady right there behind the... My mom's wood rabbit. That's what I use to make the cut. I like cut and disc or any air tools or a drill. I mean, this air, not that guy. We just got that one. It'd be nice if I can hook that one up to that one and fill that tank up and do that. But this guy's leaking up and under here. 
This one can't keep up an air truck is a cheap truck and it just leaks like I guess like a sieve. Oh, that's real smart. Just leave this like a smart stick your hand in there. I tell you what. You catch that blade. You're gonna be really mad at me. I didn't put it in. I'm actually gonna leave that in there. That is a, that is a trip to emergency emergency room waiting to happen. I got, I got cut with knives a fair few times by using my cheap Chinese as a scraper. And chink, chink, slice your bottom of your finger. It hurt. I never, I never cut myself on purpose. It's always an accident. It doesn't happen that often. I can ground your work on these old tracks. You get cut up a fair bit. You know, you people call me crazy working on these <laughs> neighbors. Look at me, tilt their heads like, why is this kid got two old tractors? My neighbor's been probably moved. No, my 1951. That's still around. I need a. I would like to actually put it, find a K241 Kohler or an eight horsepower Kohler to put in that air, in that garden, not Aaron's garden mark of mine. If anyone's got one, leave a comment in the comment section below. I'll gladly buy it off you for a decent price. You just have to pay for shipping because right now I don't got the money to pay for shipping. So I'm putting a lot of money. I'm putting a lot of. I'm putting my money where I need to. I need to invest. I need to upgrade my sweeper. I need to put money in this thing to get it going again. It's gonna be like fifty dollars for card kit. I don't know. Really, nothing for this one this year except for front tires. That's what I'm putting on an oil change. Oh, that I hope to God nothing else goes wrong in this old girl. Cause I hate ripping her apart. I absolutely hate ripping the old girl apart. But stuff happens. This thing's 48 years old. That one's over 50. He's 51, I think. But yeah, makes sense. It's got the latch on there. But I'm still wondering why is that? Cause this thing rattles. Yeah. Your fiberglass. They rattle. It's got the original headlight with the. I think it's got an original bulb in there and the lens. Which one particular person I like to hang out with? She likes to work on, she likes to wrench on four wheelers and whatnot. And she's always got to have things symmetrical. So you got one headlight, if you have headlights, I have to have two headlights. She saw this, she started flipping now. She's like, oh, he's got it. Like, that looks so weird. I bugs the crap out of me. Work on a shop together after school one day. I mean, she really didn't do much. She didn't want to get on the nasty floor in the shop in there's cardboard. She kind of got a little nervous. With me when I was taking that off, me and another friend over there. We were just rent all wrenching away on this tractor. Taking the plow off, the rest of the plow, the frame. For it in the bar, which is, eh, the bar's underneath my table. The workbench. But if there's an old, it's another project of mine that I'll probably never get finished. And I was young and dumb. Younger and stupid. I stripped the bolt. Can't get back together. And there's parts over here. There's a gear. There's... I'm gonna piece in one of these toolboxes somewhere for it. Where the heck did it go? I know there's a piece in here for it. Where'd it go? Come here. God darn it. Yeah, there it is. There's an arm for it. I do got the roller bar for it right there it's got it had wood rollers on it we've gotten rid of them since but here's a nice thing oh there's one of the rollers there's one of the wheels these are actually cast centers but there's another roller jesus there's my bar here she is now, there's a reason why this thing is zip tied. A long time ago, when my dad first brought this thing home, he actually had the plow. He thinks he's, since so many years have gone by, he's actually thrown the actual blade out in the scrap pile. Which is a shame because my friend, he does snow removal in the winter on his own, like I do with my yard work. He said he'd like to have the tractor, and I told him I'd give it to him for 100 bucks. He said, that'd be a deal, I just gotta find the plow. Me and went through the back of the shop looking for it, didn't find it. And my dad had this here a long time, even before this is over the winter. I 
the bed and sell it to my buddy. I don't just gotta put the engine and get it going. Yeah, that's fine. Now this one, you know, knows these real motors are kind of scary. People have lost fingers over these. Now with this one, see there's zip ties holding the reel. Because this guy it actually spins freely. It's not even seized. Well, I guarantee it's since seized. It's been on here for a good probably 10 years now. My dad said, you cut those zip ties off. I'm taking this thing right back to the shop. When I was young at the time. You don't want to lose a finger. That was enough for me not to do it. And I got the hitch over there for it. There's a plow frame for the 51 under there too. Everything but the blade. I'd like to get this thing going next. That'd be really cool to get that 51 going. That's its name, the 51. It's built in 1951. And yank this crash mirror and mow my yard with this. I'm going to have to go through and finish with the errands and make a better cup. But God, that would be cool. There's no GoFundMe for this either. I'm not the type of person who likes to beg for money. It's beggars. It can't be choosers, and I don't like using other people's money. My motto is you work it to earn it. No exceptions. Unless it's a gift or something. I've always worked for every penny I have. I've only been gifted a couple things in my fleet. Like my Thatcher, I was given to me for free. My 110, which nothing there comes free. The Thatcher is actually just free. Hook it up and go use it. Best free thing I've gotten ever. Hey, look, you're getting Nerf guns and whatnot. I had Nerf guns since I got rid of them. Well, two years ago, I think, I think you guys could see it right in this area. There's a ton of gun, Nerf guns in there. I've mean, since thrown them in that dumpster. And one of our dad's employees went out and looked dumpster diving to get them because he wanted them. We didn't know he wanted them, but he took them. Yeah. I love to talk. I'm like Wes, one lonely farmer. You get to know him. He loves to talk. Well, so do I. I love to talk till I lose my, vo I lose my voice. <laughs> Just start coughing because I my throat's dry. And that guy's greased. I gotta grease this bad boy. I'll grease this one so you can get it and work it. Now, you guys have seen the only job. That was the first time I used it. Putting the 112 to 112 goes to work. Or putting the 112 to work. It's a fairly recent video. I enjoy running this tractor. Got a good seat on, you know it's the wrong seat for the era. I mean, granted, these seats wear out, and this one's cracked and falling apart. It's coming undone from the pan. I want to see if I can find something to reupholster it and like remake the whole leather where it says John Deere up in here in the same style. I want to see if I can find someone that can do that. Then I got bragging rights. <laughs> That's a nice breeze. Only for me, like, I think it's in the 50s now. It's nice out. I know Tank would be out here with me, but he doesn't like me dropping a wrench. He gets scared easily. You know the dog we uh, adopted and saved? Came from uh, people that weren't very nice. I actually used pit bulls to fight. And those are give people... Those types of people give pit bulls a bad name. Pit bulls are lovely dogs. I love my pit bulls. Even though they're a bit of a pain sometimes to... I like to get into trouble. But yeah. That's your PTO ever. Actually, I'll unlock my truck and I'll show you the PTO lever. I'm trying to figure out how this thing goes on there. If you've got any idea how these things do go on, please, by all means, let me know. Because I really would like to... I don't have a mower deck for it. I'm kind of going to start bugging the other one because he said he'd find them and give them to me. And the blower for it. Because I got the blade. If I get the mower, I can really up the price on this guy. I'll sell it with the mower because it wouldn't fit on the 110. I keep the blower because I can use my adapter to hook it up to 110. This is your PTO. I think it goes in there like that. It snakes in here somehow. Like through here. Something like that. I'm not 100% sure how this thing goes. Or like that. I think it goes like that. I'm not sure, but I know it goes with this tractor. There's no way it ever fit on the 110. And I got the pulleys that go that mount here that go down. I have those two. 
basically if I, it won't and I did try to see if it would fit on the 110 just by looking at it it won't fit I'm not about to really start making a lot of adapters just to make something older that may not work on a tractor and destroy belts or destroy enough belts on that tractor as it is I'm just kind of looking stuff over on it now I'm always looking stuff over I'm trying to figure out where this thing leaking from my seat this thing's wet I can't this guy. I don't know because this thing smokes and you see it smoke. It comes out of up in the throttle levers. Actually, kind of you'd think it'd be on fire. I'll probably do this off camera because good guy, this thing is so loud. I mean, you have if you're running this thing above even a little bit above an idle, you got to be wearing headphones or some sort of ear protection. This thing will make you go deaf. This thing's that loud. I mean, I was actually debating on straight pipe in it, but, you know, God, how loud this thing already is, I think I'd get the cops calling for noise order and stuff. That one's quiet. I like that. You can have a conversation next to it. The only reason I cut the muffler out of this one because the blowback is so much, it would stall. You had